Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I am the Stylish Millennial. Um, if you're not new here, hey, how you doing? So good to see you. I hope your mom's doing well. Um, today I'm talking about fall trends for 2021. What some of them are, the ones I'm particularly digging, and whether or not you already have these things in your closet, and how you might be able to refresh them a little bit so they, they feel current and maybe not have to spend that coin. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and jump into it. One of the first trends we're talking about is head to toe knits. I am in favor of this. As you can tell, I'm in my uh, OD green sweater dress. I absolutely love when the temperature cools off so I can wear this. It cools off. It was like a high of 89 today instead of a high of 106. So yes, it's considered cooler, but it's cozy. It's great. It's effortless. It works with a lot of different body silhouettes and shapes. You can get them in all different lengths, all different styles. So I'm going to include some pictures here for you. But knits, if you don't have a knit, get a knit. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret because it's us. Listen, we're busy. We're changing the world. We're trying to, you know, get stuff done and make the next generation leave them in a better off place than what we are we don't have time for a whole bunch of stuff so because we're busy and sometimes lazy also get a knit sweater dress like this dresses are a lazy slash busy woman hack a knit sweater dress under a cardigan or a blazer some footwear a cute accessory and you're out the door in about nine and a half minutes and you look so fly it's as close to effortless as you can get and as i said because it's a knit you can get them in different lengths different um different types the only thing i will the only tip i will really give you about a knit is some of the thicker chunkier knits are warmer which is great if you stay cold like me however it can add visual bulk so look for something that's a tighter but thinner knit so it's still going to help you retain body heat worst case scenario you layer a cami or a t-shirt underneath it's not going to add any visual bulk still keep you warm you can still put it under a jacket if you need to and it's not going to make you look like um like that michelin tire man on ghostbusters Okay, the next big trend this uh, fall and winter is tailoring. So those are suits and suit jackets. I am here for it. I love a good tailored silhouette. More pictures are going up here. Go ahead and get those thrown up for you. Suits are amazing. They're also one and done, kind of like that sweater, but you have the ability to individualize it. If you want to put a lacy bralette or crop top underneath it and wear it like out on a dinner date or with some friends, if you want to put one of your favorite band tees underneath it and still keep it off as appropriate, but a little more um, chill or edgy vibe, they're fantastic. I'm here for you. More, you can wear them together. You can wear them as separates just the jacket, just the bottom, should you go with a skirt or pants. The only tip I will give you when it comes to uh, suits and tailoring is proportions are key. You want something, and you can decide, do you want something that's a little more slim fit, a little more modern fit, so it's cut a little closer to the body? Do you want something that's a little slouchier, so it's a little more oversized? Just be aware if you go with a more oversized look, that's great. The pants are going to be flowy. You don't want to be so, you don't want them so flowy that you've been swallowed up in this material. And also the more flowy, the longer it's going to be. If you're hobbit size like me, you're going to need to get those hemmed. Don't buy the suit if you're not going to get them hemmed. You want your pants, the flowy silhouette especially, to hit kind of like right on the tops of your shoes. Decide if you're going to wear them more often with um, elevated platform brogues or if you're going to wear them with heels. Put those on. Immediately take it to the tailor. Don't say, oh, I'll do it this week. No, you won't. No, you won't. Have your shoes in the car when you buy them. Take them straight away to the tailor so you can have them hemmed because you're going to need to. So when you're looking into buying a suit or thinking about that suit you have in your closet that you haven't worn because you didn't get it hemmed and it looks crazy, 
go and get it him. Focus on the proportion. Is it fit a little closer to the body? Is it a little more relaxed? What does it look like in the waist? Get it hemmed if you need to, get it altered and get it taken in a little bit to keep it structured if that's the way you want to go. Or if you want it a little more relaxed and slouchy, you want it maybe a half a size to a size bigger, no more than that. Anything else than that, you look like you're solid in the material. But when it comes to the blazers of the suit, you want to make sure it's going to hit you just right. You either want something that will hit you right at the waist and accentuate that smallest part of your body, or you want it to hit just past your hips. If you're going with flowier pants, you want uh, the blazers to be kind of like mid thigh. If you're going for that kind of relaxed, cool girl vibe, if you want something that feels a little more structured with uh, a thin energy, you want the rise on the blazer to hit you a little higher up, kind of at the top of your hips or at your waist. So factor those in when you're thinking about your suit. Tailoring is another huge fall trend. I love it. I'm absolutely here for it. Another big fall and winter trend are, are geometric prints. Absolutely here for them. Argyle, houndstooth, herringbone. These are all considered geometric prints. I love them one and all. They're all in my closet. They be staying in my closet. Go nuts. Sweaters, sweater vests, capes, coats. Choose something in that print. The only tip I will give you when it comes to this is these prints, they're not, they're not part of a duo or a trio. They are the entire show. They're a solo singer. They need no backups, please and thank you. Should you choose, especially houndstooth, houndstooth can overtake you real easy. So just be aware and wear one print at a time. You know how sometimes you can mix like a stripe and a floral, don't even try it with houndstooth. You'll, you'll look like you got dressed in the dark and in a hurry. That's not the vibe we're going for. So absolutely wear it. As I said, wear it in a suit, wear it on a cape, wear it on a sweater or sweater vest. If you're particularly into it, get it in a knitted sweater and top combo just to own it, but just stick with one print at a time when it comes to these. And last but not least for the fall 2020 trends are saturated colors. I think we can all agree um, 2020 was kind of a very stay at home, maybe experiment, maybe just keep wearing the same pair of pajama pants for four days in a row kind of year. So a lot of designers have embraced color all throughout the year, spring, summer, as well as their autumn, winter lines. And I am here for it because you can do so many things with saturated colors and it's all saturated colors. In the tailoring uh, section, I threw up a picture and I'm going to reuse it here. This red pantsuit Technically, it's called Scarlet. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. That's a rich color. These are, And it's not just the reds. It's your emeralds. It's your teals. It's your deep purples um, that are just your orchid purples, your aubergines. Camel. Camel. Deep camel. Rich, chic, luxe vibe. That camel. Yes. That's another saturated color that was also very big, as well as lavender. One of the tips, ooh, voice, okay. <clears throat> when it comes to the saturated colors, the tips I have for you are go nuts, play with it, go for it. I'm even gonna give you um, a slightly different tip. Lavender was one of, it was on several, actually, it's several runways this season, but Lavender, swap that out if you have a light gray that you want to use in your neutral palette. Look for that light lavender uh, to add in instead. It's still going to have that same cool and light tone and undertone as the lighter gray that's in your neutral palette, but it's going to add a really subtle infusion of color and still not clash with anything. So if you're doing it with a you know, a light gray and a charcoal gray, swap out that lavender, put it with that charcoal gray. It's going to be enough to kind of give life without overwhelming it as well as making it unusable. 
And lavender goes with so many different shades. You can put it with the emerald greens, with the teals, you can pair it with the red. It's a lighter and cooler tone that pairs really well with heavier saturated tones. So go ahead and use that. Another tip I want to give is when it comes to camel, you, it's one of those colors. It's one of those just instantly makes everything more polished, more refined, more money, more chic. If you want to go with a cashmere mock neck top and your faux leather leggings to kind of edge it up a little bit, throw a camel coat over top and now you look like that, you know, rock band chick that's always been from money. So you can use that to kind of add a touch of polish to anything as you go. The trick with camel is you want to be aware of your skin tone as well as your undertone and the tone of and richness of the color of the camel. If you if you kind of miscalculate how fair or how pink or how yellow your undertone is and the depth or lack of depth of that camel is going to look like you're wearing an ace bandage head to toe. That's not the look we're going for. We want chic, not sick. Okay. So factor that in your skin tone and undertone, the depth, the richness of it. And uh, yeah, if you've got a more neutral color palette and you've got a lavender that you're either thinking about buying or you bought on a spur of the moment earlier this year and you're not sure how to use it, swap it out with that light gray and then pair it with some of the other other darker shades in your color palette. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So that's what I have for you today. What's your favorite autumn winter trend that you saw exhibited on the runways that you are currently wearing or you're excited to wear? Leave it in the comments. Let's get it talking. And uh, that's what I have for you today. I am the Stylish Millennial. If you like this video, please like this video. And also feel free to subscribe. I come back every Wednesday and I will see you guys next week. Bye.